high five trainer. From today, my sister Divya would be joining high five trainer and will be making videos with me. Hi guys, I'm Divya and from now I'm going to be joining my brother's YouTube channel. Today, in this video, she'll be teaching you cube nets. So, let's go into the video. First of all, what are cubes and cube nets? Cubes are symmetrical three-dimensional shapes which consist of six faces, eight vertices and twelve edges. Cube nets are nets which can be cut and folded to make a cube. Now, let's see some examples of a cube, cube and cube nets. So here I have some cube nets and I have some squares here. And with these squares, I'm going to make the cube net shown and try to fold it to make a square. Now, let's consist this, the, uh, this cube net. Now, let's try and fold this cube net to make a cube. Then, now, then, then. There. Now, that cube net has made a cube, so that cube net can be shown in some non-verbal reasoning questions to trick you. Now, let's see the second example, which goes like this. Um, down below it. Now, let's try and make a cube out of this one. Let's first run these two off. Connect them both. And let's put that there. And there. That cube net has also created a cube. So, you might even get that cube net in your non-verbal reasoning questions. So, um, so Divya, do you do um, all these questions in just one order or for this question could you use two ways you can form a cube yeah yes but i suggest you to go from top to bottom so do you mean folders and then the corner like that yes oh thank you so you might get this kind of non-verbal reasoning questions too and now let's move on to this one that one looks a bit tricky because it only has five faces, not six. But let's try and make a cube out of it. Now let's place four from top, top to bottom in a line and one over there. Now let's try to make a cube out of here. Let's first turn that there, that and that. But as you can see, there's a face missing here because the, a cube should consist of six faces, not just five. So Divya, um, do you mean in some exams do they trick you by giving questions like this? No, if they are proper exams. But the, you can get a net which will have a... Um, Another square, square there? there. Yeah. And which will form a cube which will look like this. Oh, fine. Now, let's try our last example, which is one there, there, and there. And now let's start a new line. This one has six squares. And it looks a bit tricky because it has two lines, each with three squares. But anyway, let's, how, let's try and make a cube out of it. But it made a cube, so... This one can also come in your exams to trick you. So now let's move on to the real nonverbal reasoning questions which you'll get. Here I have a nonverbal reasoning question and 
on this side I have a question figure and on this side I have an option I have options which are named A and B so one of these options have been folded to create this question figure and now we're going to find out which one of them was was created but before we know that we need to know one top tip which is uh, that two opposite sides will never meet so here let's take option a and for option a let's first take our uh, take our arrow which which is on the top on our question figure and let's try and visualize if this net would be able to be created as the question figure now let's first think that the k was folded to so that it would become like the one on the question figure then let's take the star and uh, put it down again so that it will look like the one on the question figure and anyway our arrow is pointing where the where the question figures arrow is pointing so so with that example we know that option a is the correct answer now how are you sure like it's option a why can't it be option b option b uh, because if you turn the arrow figure which will be flat on the top and the K would be right in front of the arrow where it's pointing like where the star oh, is so the arrow should be pointing the star but it's pointing the K yes that's why I, uh, I didn't choose uh, option b as my answer oh fine but here you just three you just see three sh uh, sides right yes. so why do you need the other three and other uh, oh. because you need six faces to create a cube so all the other uh, faces were are hidden behind oh so do you mean one there one down and one other side yes oh fine now let's see with our cube which i've made now let's put our arrow facing up like there and then now our arrow is facing to the star like on the question figure and then the k is right beside the arrow so we know that the option a is the correct answer because I folded option A to be this cube. So, according to this cube, uh, uh, our option A is the correct answer. Now, let's move on to the next question. In, in this question, we have a question figure, which is a cube net, and in the options, we have two cubes. In this question, you need to imagine to open up a, this cube to create the question figure and we need to choose from option A and B. Now let's try to visualize which was these two options will it be to create such a net which is given in the question figure. So let's try and visualize option A now the squares are being on the bottom so now let's think they have been moved all the way to the top so uh, if they are all the way over here uh, overlapping the white square over there and there should be another white square beside it like how in, how there's an option a and then the and then a uh, uh, Beside the squares, there should be dots, just like in option A. So our answer is option A. Now let's try it in the cube, which I have here. Now we want our squares facing up. 
just like on our option A. We have a facing up and then here we have the dots and dots beside the squares. And then in front there is a blank space just like in our cube which I have made. So as uh, as I as I found out that option A is the correct answer, I circle it. Um so if you want uh, if you want to have uh, any more questions so you can solve them. Um I have some um some more um cube nets and they'll be in a photo in the link below in the description below. Uh, open them and if you want to find out the answers send your um send your answers to high five trainers email which should also be in the description below um and thank you for watching our video if you like our video please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload another video